Yeah, he's like fucking Viet Cong fucking with this soy face. Soy face ambush. Yeah. Man. I'm like, I was still I was still talking a little shit. Yeah, we I were making fun out. of a dog. What a wonderful you, pre-Super Bowl pod. Did you guys not want to start yet? No, no, no it's fine. Here's it. Check. Test. A little loud. Testing. Hello. One, two. All right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Ben's got on his green for the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do, I guess. Ben's a big Philly head now. I'm worried for everyone in Philadelphia today if they lose. You know, a woman's going to get, Chinese person's going to get beat to death with a cheese steak. <laughs> yes, yeah, everyone at Pat's just blows their head off with the whiz gun. Mark, Wal- <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wahlberg flies in to beat up another Chinese guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know Mark Wahlberg have you ever been to Mark Wahlberg's burger place? Wahlburgers? Wahlburgers, Wahlburgers yeah. yeah. The biggest, fattest retards on the planet. <laughs> yeah. They walk the, on Sunset Boulevard, there's one there. Yeah. They walk by every single fine establishment mm-hmm. and then go right into Wahlburgers. Yeah, yeah. They're walking past like Nobu to get Wahlburgers. <laughs> go, yeah, yeah. Go to Wahlburgers, get a blinded Vietnamese man with cheese. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a Chinese eyeball. Yeah, we're still using that guy's arm. <laughs> we're still using the liquor store owner's arm for meat. Dude, that place it's the it looks like uh, the uh, the Far Side cartoon people. Yeah, they yeah. go in there and they think they take. I saw someone. I was walking by it one day. Wanted their picture taken in front of Wahlburgers. Yeah, and I think they think Mark Wahlburgers <laughs> the chef. He's either the chef or he frequents the establishment. <laughs> Like it's uh like he's the like you know how the owner of the bar comes by and shakes everybody's hand mm-hmm. and is like hey everybody yeah 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 everybody's mm-hmm. a, it was a cooked yeah. well yeah. and you get yeah the, like it's like it's Rocky going yeah. around his restaurant <laughs> be like hey you guys yeah. enjoy your steak tonight yeah Mark Wahlberg's walking around be like all right yeah, nice you white white right Mark white Wahlberg's like you white right <laughs> okay well you you tired or you Chinese mm-hmm. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine it's just full of people who look like Turtle from Entourage walking in. Like that type that of That is exactly guy. what I imagine, too. I yeah. imagine Will and Don. Mm. I imagine a guy who's who's kind of so fat that his head permanently fits the fitted cap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's like a thimble and a thumb, mm-hmm. but for a fitted cap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like um, if you filled a doctor's glove up with water. <laughs> you know how the and fingertips chin, start. And put a chin strap beard around mm-hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a white guy who's still wearing a Terrell Owens earring yeah. in 2023. Yeah, the white guys that like they they get their beard shaped and it makes them black. Like they try and get their beard shaped away where they're black now. You mean the stencil? Yeah, beard, they stencil right? it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love those guys. You love those guys. I'd always love to God see one of, one of those guys who gets the stencil but keeps growing it out. Like it gets really long, but it's just a curtain. It's hanging down. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I think Wahlberg's is another place like this. I've, Wahlburgers. What did I say? You said Wahlberg's. Wahlburgers. Resp- Be- respect Wahlburgers. Better please. name, though. Please. Wahlberg's. Mm. Mm. How you doing? Welcome to Wahlburgers. <laughs> hey, can I get you? Hey. hey. You want cheese with that? Hey, you know I wake up at 4 a.m. to pray every day, right? Yeah. You know, I could have stopped 9-11. You know? I could have stopped 9-11. Good. If those hijackers were Chinese, I would have stopped 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> That's every every action movie he does to get in. Like he's like a Strasbourg guy mm-hmm. to get into character. He imagines Transformers as just being Asian. Mm-hmm. It's like we gotta stop these monsters. Yes, every movie, every movie he thinks he's. It's all the Vietnamese yeah. man in, in Dorchester. Invincible. He's running in the streets of Philly, just chasing <laughs> a fucking convenience store owner. Invincible. He thought he was chasing him. <laughs> I can't wait for him to. He's gonna star in a movie next year where he's like on a jetpack and he like shoots up and is just boxing the Chinese spy balloon, <laughs> just beating the shit out of it, yeah. wrestling it to the ground, it's falling be, to the earth. It's gonna be one of those Peter Berg movies where they're like, oh, "What if we did Columbine?" But there's a fucking racist <laughs> Irish guy there for some reason. Yeah, it's it's uh, Mark Wahlberg's entered the territory of like The Rock, where like every mm-hmm. movie, it's like Mark Wahlberg versus a wall. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. like kind of becoming one of those guys. Mm-hmm. And then occasionally he'll do like a wacky comedy, like Daddy's Home 5. Yeah, right? yeah. sure. Like uh, uh, Bruce Willis yeah. does that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Bruce Willis is in a big fight with his mind at the moment. 
He's in a he's battle a, for his life. He's Bruce in Die Hard Six with his brain. Yeah, Bruce Willis is is yeah in Die Hard for memories yeah. right now. He's crawling through his own ventilation shaft. <laughs> he's crawling through because he still thinks he's in Die he's Hard. Crawling through his own <laughs> with vent. Zippo. Mm-hmm. He's, he's like, come out to the coast. We'll have a couple of. And they're like, Bruce, come down. <laughs> it's like guys in big white suits. He's just a <laughs> never ending vent. Yeah. His life holding now. a gun to a psychiatrist's head. <laughs> Dude, his life is so much more interesting than any movie you could make now. Yeah. He I mean, he doesn't know who he is anymore. And he's or Bruce what's Willis. going on. And he's Bruce Willis. And, he's still in movies. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's memento, but it's it's way more interesting. It's tr- it's yeah. a weird twist because it's like imagine everyone knows you except you. Except you. Wow. Right. It's kind of how it should be. He's like a walking billboard. He has no concept of his own identity. It's like a hacky screenplay where it's a guy who gets recognized by everybody, but he can't recognize himself. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the gayest screenplay writer is is writing that like on a typewriter somewhere in Hollywood right (laughs) now. It's like Memento. Yeah. It's like we made a famous homeless person or something. Yeah. They're just wandering down the street like with their dick out. Yeah. Famous homeless person. You're like, oh my God, that's Bruce Willis. He's like, ah. Throwing his shit at cars. <laughs> By the way, it would be hilarious if this is all a very clever PR campaign to cover up the wide amount of rapes he committed in Hollywood. <laughs> mm. He's pretending he just has, right. like, he has wiffle ball brain. Yeah, you know? it's preemptive Your Honor. Harvey Weinstein polio. Mm. They're like, just just start acting retarded now so right. you can get away just with the rapes. Just give him a walker. They're like, Mr. Willis forgot the concept of consent because of his brain. <laughs> <laughs> He would be having sex with the one she would say no, 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 and he would forget the the no's uh-huh. as they were coming in. He's like a gold. Can a goldfish a, really rape a woman right. if he only lives in a three second window? Yeah. Your Honor, he had to make a Kevin Smith movie with dementia. <laughs> Cut him some break. <laughs> he had to make Cop Out. Your Honor, wait, wait, what Kevin Smith movie? Cop, Cop out. out. Yeah, he made like some horrible buddy cop movie with, with, with Tracy, Tracy Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Oh man, that sounds and, bad. And Kevin Smith like went on this big diatribe. He's like, he's a cocksucker. He wouldn't let me wear hockey shirts. Or- <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Kevin Smith yeah. just being like, hey, you know, I continue to make the worst movies of all Ke- time. Kevin Smith's like, yeah, Bruce like wanted us to get other shots. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. He Bru- wanted a second draft of my script. <laughs> like we made the we made the movie in 13 hours and Bruce had a problem with that. Right. He he didn't like that I, I write my scripts on an old Pac-Man screen <laughs> in Crown. <laughs> Dude, Kevin Smith, everywhere he goes, he looks like he just got pants. <laughs> And he refuses to pull them up to acknowledge the fact that someone definitely pants them. <laughs> You've seen those photos of him, right? You talking about the old photos of him, like squeegeeing no, his car? D- yeah, yeah. Well, old. I mean, yeah. I guess. Well, he's he's looked ridiculous in two completely opposite directions. Yes. Now he lo- he looks he, like a uh, McGruff the crime dog. Now that he's lost he weight, looks like the- he's always wearing a big <laughs> suit jacket. Yeah, and he hi- he's always hiking Runyon. Mm-hmm. Nothing worse than when a guy gets healthy. I love Kevin. I honestly love Kevin Smith. As I love a his person. His, his speech, his talking is great. I I used to I read his book in high school where it's just about him taking shits and mm-hmm. letting his dogs out back. <laughs> that was like the yeah. whole book. Are he's his, just taking huge dumps and letting his dogs out. Are his talks where he just? I mean, look at him. I mean, come it on. Just sucks so bad, dude. He was <laughs> he was so heart attack. Yeah, he was so fat. He would buy these shorts that looked like Jinkos, but they're just shorts. They're just shorts. Yeah. Yeah. He looks worse now, though. He looks like grown up, like AJ Soprano. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Well, he, he does. Look, he looks like Silent Bob, like trying to get a bank loan or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like they're trying to start their own convenience store. <laughs> he looks great now. He lost a ton of weight. I, I I love Kevin Smith. I just I don't really care for his movies too much. But I yeah. think he's an incredible speaker. I love everything about him person. except everything he makes. And I, yeah, I, I'm always like, well, who cares about what you made, Kevin? Just talk. <laughs> I think people slept on uh, Red State. Red State was actually with John really Goodman, well done, yeah. and it was it was kind of panned, and I thought it was actually I thought it was pretty good. Me too. Yeah. I Dog, enjoyed it. Dogma's not bad. I like Dogma. Dogma's okay. That's not terrible. There's a few good scenes, so it's yeah. like a little too long. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Clerks, you rewatch, and you're like, this is just like a shitty student film. Yeah, Clerks, I'm like, dude, this this is anything on YouTube right now. <laughs> but it, the, the the writing's good. Writing's funny. Mm-hmm. You know. Made waves at Dude, the time. what was Kevin Smith's weed movie that he put out right when the pandemic started? It was the biggest hunk of shit I've he ever seen. He made a bunch of, like, his kids work at a gas station. He, he, all these guys just put their kids and everything. Yeah. Johnny Depp's kids mm-hmm. in it. It's just, a, it's a big grown-up cum fucking festival. <laughs> yeah, he's like Judd. He's Tubbs <laughs> Apatow. Yeah. I'm already giving up. But Tubbs he- Apatow. <laughs> He, he made some, like, weed movie where it was, like, a Cheech and Chong thing, and it was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. 
I don't really know what you're talking about. <sighs> no, it wasn't J- Hollyweed. It was called Hollyweed. Oh. Yeah, it was a huge hunk well, of that, shit. That came and went. Yeah. yeah. Starring Adrian Brody. Jesus Christ. Wait, really? That's what it says on the fucking yeah. no, no, website. No, no, no. That's uh if you're are you looking over here, Jace? I was looking up there. The Hollywood TV movie. Oh, oh no, Adam, Adam, Adam Brody. Adam Brody. No, Excuse Adam Brody. me. Mm-mm. My apologies. No, 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 Jace. To Adrian. That's not this. <laughs> That's not this. This is Hollywood. Hollywood with with uh oh shit that's fucking uh, Donnell yeah yeah who's hilarious yeah. yeah but it's um again it's like he you have to do more than one draft of a script mm-hmm. that poster well, looks like it was made to be s- sold on a subway like out of a plastic bag no that looks mm. like Tommy Wiseau like you know went to Venice <laughs> <laughs> and made a yeah. shitty movie Garage Rock Tommy Wiseau. I mean, you can't you can't name a movie Hollyweed. No, you but, you can't have a movie about two guys working at a weed dispensary in he Hollywood. He wrote it high, man. Well, that's every. He likes to smoke a big doob and right. write feature length films. You know, his first pitch on this was like, "What if we did Tally from South Park? What if we gave him his own movie? <laughs> we gave him his own his own uh, vehicle." Yeah, I like Kevin Smith, but he is the guy who gets the like Bart Simpson smoking a joint T shirt at Spencer's. Yeah, 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 he says yeah. like Cowabunga. Cowabunga. <laughs> he has like an "I love mom" tattoo. I love Kevin Smith, honestly. Yeah. Like he was a huge influence on me growing up. Mm-hmm. Like just, but just him, him. Not I didn't the even movies. know he made movies. Not the movies. I just thought he answered questions on stage <laughs> and was really funny and told great stories. And then I was like, oh, he made movies. And then I watched him. Like I don't, I'm really, I don't know about that. I'm not sure. <laughs> not didn't think that was that great. But right, just court, speak. Just speak. Just don't, talk. Don't rewrite what you speak and then put it down and then film it. He's basically yeah. a guy that like he he. Um, he just kind of got screwed by having to direct his own writing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like if he was able, like he just to adapt a book or be, something. Because the yeah. first thing he made, he happened to direct it. So then everyone's like, he's a writer director, mm-hmm. but it's, he really should have just been writing stuff, and then other people that know how to use cameras uh, make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, people that know how to use have a belt. People that own a belt. Yes, anyone that owns <laughs> any like that knows about other angles. Mm-hmm. Any shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just you shoot it, just put it right in. He's yeah. like, no, you just stand behind the counter and talk for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. That's a movie. It's like he, he's doing Dogma 95, but he doesn't understand. Like he's doing like a minimalist shoot, but it's because mm-hmm. he's too retarded to do other stuff. <laughs> he's doing that. What, what was that, that thing? It was like natural lighting. That uh, fucking oh, you, well, the you, revenant. You're talking about the Harmony Corinne thing, where like there's like eight rules where they can only use lighting yeah. on set. They have to use actors from like within three miles. It was the guy who did Antichrist, the... Lars von Trier. Oh right, no, Lars von Trier didn't do that shit. Oh, did he not? No, no, no. Lars yeah. von Trier didn't do that shit. Lars von Trier made Zach and Mary make a porno. <laughs> that was him actually. <laughs> that is actually my favorite. That was movie. him stretching. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the movie where he's like, "You guys want to see a, a Jay's cock?" What if we put that in a movie? <laughs> what if we put a heroin addict's cock in a movie? Zack and Mary make a porno was just Kevin Smith being like, oh, fucking Rogue, Seth Rogen does all these Judd Apatow movies. I'm going to make a Judd Apatow movie mm-hmm. with porn. Yeah, I'll make the the second half of Funny People only. Yeah. <laughs> Funny People is two movies. You think Judd Apatow, like, he dies if his kids aren't in a movie? <laughs> Do you think God has some sort of like like, like agreement with him? Like, like, yeah, if your entire family isn't in your next movie, I you die. Yeah, I feel like he sold his soul to the devil. Yeah, for and ex- he goes, but in exchange, all of your children have to be cast in your film. Yes. Right. Yep, and your wife, and I, and I swear to God, like I will fucking kill you right now if you're if if you 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 don't get your wife to fuck Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> Every movie, your wife, your wife better fucks be Paul banging Rudd. Paul Rudd mm-hmm. in front of you. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is like a, an eighty million dollar like cuck project <laughs> that he films. It's he, such an elaborate. He ruse. has to write. Yeah, he has to do all this elaborate work just right. to watch Paul Rudd fuck it's, his wife. It's mm-hmm. ultimate fantasy. What if my wife was fucking an attractive Jewish person? <laughs> Me and Judd Apatow, my ultimate fantasy. It doesn't even look like the kids want to be on screen. Mm. When you watch the Apatow, they're like turn, they're like turning around. They don't, they don't even wanna, know a movie's like, being get filmed. Get away, Dad! They're, all the movies he makes, they all just do them in his mansion. Yeah. Like they're, they're all the kids don't even know they're oh, on in film. LA. They, I mean, every movie he makes is about people where they're like, I guess we have to sell the Beamer. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no real problem. It's just white people, mm-hmm. rich problems. His right, kids right, think right. Paul Rudd is their dad. They're confused. But yeah, they have yeah. no clue what's happening. Yeah, they think John Apatow's the stepdad. They're, they're like in Synecdoche, <laughs> New York. They don't know what their life is and what the art is anymore. Right, right. It's all going in and out. Yeah, like I, I remember Gary Shandling like mouth fucked mom <laughs> one night. <laughs> I don't even know. 
Was like, it it's Gary like the, Sh- they was live it in Larry- the shy- <laughs> What would you say? Was it Larry Sanders? I don't know who <laughs> mouth fucked my know. mom. <laughs> He's like, I'm the king of bromance. Disregard Paul Rudd <laughs> fucking my wife in 17 movies in front of me. Dude, the Apatow family probably lives like in the Shining Hotel, but for mm-hmm. comedy where yeah. people are just coming and going. Yeah, yeah. No one has any clue what's going on. Yeah. At all. And it's crazy such a real comic can make all those movies. Because well, Judd is like one of the greatest yeah. stand-ups ever. Mm-hmm. And like when he was going off on Louie, I was like, hey, God has spoken. Mm-hmm. I respect any comic who takes 20 years off until they're so famous, the comedy store has to put them up. Yeah, I love you, that. You know what I fucking hate about Judd Apatow? And if I ever met him, I'd tell them him this to his face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When the Louie thing happened, he went like on a press tour. He went on he a did press like tour. Every, he like got on planes. He mm-hmm. acted like Louie <laughs> shot up Sandy Hook. <laughs> He literally was on radio shows acting like Louis C.K. Yeah. Yeah. has been killing children mm-hmm. because yeah, of a like, joke. He did like a press junkie. You're right. No, he literally did. He was like, "Get me on every show." He mm-hmm. did like he did like Jim and Sam. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's calling he a show. He's never done. He's calling like Byron Allen. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, "Get me on comics on." Yeah. All yeah. of a sudden, Judd Apatow's on like Bubba the Love Sponge's show <laughs> to talk shit about Louis. Fuck yeah. off. I met Judd Apatow's personal assistant one time. Oh, Somebody really? was trying to get me. Yeah, because back in the day, you know, when I thought shit would happen for me and mm, stuff and the sure. normal route, uh, people used to try and introduce me to people, and I had to hang out with that guy for a whole night. He sucked ass, and it made everything made sense after that night. He's just a little dweeby guy with glasses, and he kind of like kind of has that camp counselor vibe where like every anything you say that's a little edgy, he's like, I don't know about that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Judd's assistant or yeah, Judd? Judd's like personal assistant oh, okay, guy, okay. but like they said he was going to become a writer on stuff, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These yeah. people just end up giving like they let like the guy that gets them coffee write like feature. Like mm-hmm. they, just, they just don't care. Yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah. Anyway, hey, yeah, those yeah. days are done. Yeah, let the guy who uh, buys the pins at Office Max let him uh, yeah. give him one of the pins. Yeah. Let Jonah do it. <laughs> let let um let um the the guy who runs the bank's nephew uh, he gets to do the next comedy. Exactly. Yeah. Who who's the guy that always gets my order right? Let, let, jo- let him write the film. Jonah Rothschild, you write. This is forty. <laughs> Jonah Rothschild. God, I would love if it was just him. Like the reason he keeps making these movies, is his whole family is abusing him. You know, just like demanding yeah. that they make another movie for the whole family, Tor- yeah. torturing yeah. him. Like he's at a typewriter and they're just like putting cigarettes out on yeah, his back because they want to go on a big trip to Mars next summer. <laughs> and they're like, Dad, Dad, we need more money. His life right now is probably like misery. Mm-hmm. They have him chained to a bed, right? And they're making him write every day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're like, you write from six to twelve, and then from twelve to six, you have bad takes on Twitter. That's your job now. He doesn't even have takes on Twitter. He just retweets the news. <laughs> right. That's his whole mm-hmm. life is retweeting t- articles against Trump. This mm-hmm. is this is what happens when you're like um when you're abused by a bunch of women. Yeah. You you become you become unfunny. Mhm. Yeah. I agree. And and you're totally out of control. I watched an interview with Adam McKay the other day. It was like uh I mean it might as well have been an an accountant mm-hmm. giving an interview. Mm-hmm. You would have no idea the guy's even a, a was ever funny no, or he, ever wrote anything no, you, funny. I know. His only job is to like be on Charlie Rose, even though that was canceled. Just like the idea of being on Charlie Rose with tiny glasses. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talking I, about a, a guy who was president 15 years ago. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Adam McKay like thinks nobody lived through the Bush administration. Right. Mm-hmm. He's making movies about like William McKinley or something. <laughs> He's like, that's the root of all evil. It's like, all right, well, you know, there's. Was it two decades ago? So he doesn't know how to balance making a comedy and making a real movie. There's mm-hmm. the, there's no like tone to any of the real movies he's tried making lately, mm-hmm. like Vice and Don't Look Up and shit. Like there, it's just it's just a guy that has no like he has no grasp of uh, of 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 uh, discipline. Mm-hmm. His movies are just full of like long scenes of Jonah Hill making like wacky jokes and ad libbing, and then right. it's like supposed to be a serious movie. Out and of then nowhere. it's cut mm-hmm. in with like just a, a nature footage of like a bear like shitting a cub yeah. out its pussy. Yeah, he also yeah. seems to think that just like a bunch of cuts of like, oh, it's the it's a it's a dead mouse, and then it's the sun, and then it's the, the you know a tsunami. And right. Then... I'm like, oh, am I watching Terrence Malick? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's funny or die, Terrence Malick. <laughs> you guys are like not smart enough to get. Okay, so let me break down his newest movie for you guys. What did you, what did he make recently? Uh, the one, one with the meteor. It's called oh, don't, yeah. don't Look Up. First of all, great great title. Because yeah, you don't want because you look up. Don't look up. Mm-hmm. Just keep your head in the yeah. yeah. And it's kind of this metaphor for like you know how cows in a field. You know how like livestock they never look up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you know those Hollywood elites that they're really they're really pissed off by the by the people running this country, even though at the same time they think everyone in the country should die mm-hmm. <laughs> and is a retard that can't spell or think. What's the opposite of like a humanitarian? Like a uh, I guess a genocidal maniac. <laughs> they're closer to that. <laughs> they're closer to Mao. <laughs> but here's the thing, Devin. The, here's the problem. You have a small brain. Both of you have small brains. <laughs> yep. You you don't you don't get it. Okay, it, it, the movie, the movie's called Don't Look Up. First of all, <laughs> both of you would probably would have named it something like Meteor Mayhem, mm. some w- sort of a liter, alliterative. I would have named it Look Up. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, just say, they should look up, so I name it that. But I'm I'm not wise, and I don't get metaphors like mm. that. I'm I'm the guy who watches the whole Don't Look Up, and then somebody's like, you know, that's about climate. I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought it was that was a meteor. What? <laughs> you, wait, you're telling me there's pollution destroying the world? I, I, honestly, I don't see it. Do you think politics are gonna kill us all? Yeah, I do love like that entertainment. Like the past two years, where it just became people being like, "Well, you know, the thing is, the government they're a little corrupt." <laughs> and I'm like, "Whoa." <laughs> Dude, I feel like I just smoked my first doobie right now. <laughs> yeah, you're just you're just putting on a leather jacket as yeah. you're listening to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, a guy who thinks he's dice clay is going like, uh, yeah, the Republicans, a little fucked up. <laughs> Guys, it's bad on the. Uh, they're lying on the right and they're lying on the left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just supposed to be like, damn. If I was 14, this would blow my fucking dick off yeah. right now. It's yeah. just guys doing Bill Hicks. They yeah. ju- they're just happy no one knows about Bill Hicks anymore. <laughs> They're just like, it's all a ride, man. It goes up and down and round and round. And yeah, we could take old Bill Hicks, Bill Hicks clips, edit big sneakers onto him, and like make him go viral he'd be, on TikTok. He'd be Dalia on TikTok, yeah. CGIing huge sneakers mm-hmm. and like a big like Matt Rife jacket. Yeah, I'm CGIing a fade onto Bill Hicks. <laughs> that curly broccoli hair. Yeah, yeah, the broccoli hair. And a, and a, and a cross earring. And I'm just I'm making him say bruh every once in a while. Bill Hicks is like, it's kinda like going up to Jackie Onassis with a rifle pendant on it, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately millions of views. Everyone's like, Who is this guy? This guy this guy gets it. This guy is based. Yeah. Dude, it's kinda like, you know, like people call it politics, I call it poly tricks. <laughs> uh-huh. Bruh. 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 I'm non binary. <laughs> Binary. <laughs> God, we got to make that as merch. Make like four million dollars. Non-binary, non-binary, brother. Yeah. Wish I could have been there, brother, but I'm non-binary. <laughs> Bruh. 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 By the way, if you are a grown man saying "bruh," mm-hmm. just just so you know, I uh, I met a couple. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's what? I just already know you're about to do a big call for violence or something. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. If it's a Patreon, I will. Yeah. If it's a Patreon, Patreon's I will. where we get really violent about yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Second and third graders say "bruh" constantly. So I'm just letting you know if you are a grown man mm-hmm. yeah. and you say "bruh," you you have the emotional. Intelligence of a, of a third grade. Of a third grade. Yeah, right. it's congratulations. A, you might as well be making macaroni necklaces <laughs> like you're, mm-hmm. you're a child. Then you right. might as well have glue on your finger fingers. paint. Go finger paint. Mm-hmm. Well, it's yeah. appropriate because any comedian who does that is probably a pedophile, statistically. So yeah, yeah. I, I got pissed off at this one guy who replied to me yesterday. He mm-hmm. did. The, he did the shittiest fucking thing you can do on Twitter. What? He replied, "Huh?" <laughs> Question mark <laughs> to a that. joke I made. Love huh? That. Mm-hmm. So like, listen, before you explain your joke, can you help explain where I am? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to insinuate that you're so dumb, they you made them, them dumber. dumber. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because you're such a buffoon. Yeah, it's a brilliant response. They're perplexed. Yeah. Perplexed. As if I was running wild through the street naked with my dick and balls flapping everywhere, <laughs> and I just have shit all over my hands, and it's just, it's flying all over the place, and you're going, huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? Hold on, let me get this guy real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna act retarded. <laughs> this motherfucker, though, the reason I bring this up, clicked on his profile. Twitch guy. Adult who plays Fortnite mm-hmm. for a living. Yeah. For sh- statistically, 
a violent pedophile. <laughs> yeah. Statistically. Yeah. Yeah. Best case scenario, a a building block in the decline of like just American media. <laughs> That's the block. best case scenario. <laughs> yeah. Is you are. He's American Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's a steel beam for the end of Western civilization. Breaking news. Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right. They are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. From a beard trim to a fresh shave, the technology behind the Beard Hedger Pro Kit allows you to shape your signature beard look. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using code LEMONPARTY for 20% off and free shipping. Um, I personally have used Manscaped for a couple years before they too. even yeah sponsored the. I keep a Same. little shear in my car nice. actually, and I just sh- shave my neck whenever I'm about to record, and it lasts for weeks. So it's time to tame your mane. No one likes a weird beard, so say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Pro Beard Kit. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. That's right. Face grooming doesn't need to be hard. Get 20 different beard lengths and just one guard. Plus, it's waterproof, so you can shave in the shower to avoid all that hair in the sink. The titanium-coated T-blade is tough on hair but smooth on your face, leading to single-stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time. The Pro Kit doesn't end there, though. They've created four dermatologist-tested formulations for your post-trim care. First, there is the Beard Shampoo and Conditioner. You need to remember, all your hair is different. Your beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than the hair on your head. That's why the kit has more shampoo and that's why the kit has made shampoo and conditioner specifically designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, replace natural oils, and promote beard health. Next, the kit has Manscaped's beard oil, an essential piece for your main facial accessory. No one wants a guy whose beard is brittle and dry. The oil relieves dryness both on the beard and the skin beneath while adding a little shimmer and shine, making you look extra fine. Cap off the kit with the Beard Bomb, a pomade that shapes, styles, moisturizes, and tames for a sculpted look to attract any fellows or dames. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three free gifts, a beard brush, a comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code LEMONPARTY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code LEMONPARTY. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. All right, because I don't know when it's going to die. Uh, guys, Meta PC, here's the uh, thing right here. Meta, It's right here, metapcs.com. You got to use these uh, computers. They sent us one, and it's it's totally tricked out. It's got uh, the Lemon Party thing on the side. It's it's pretty sweet. I've been messing around on it. Uh, Devin was playing a snake Yes. on the computer. Yeah, loved it. it the best graphics I've ever seen. Is it ma- I mean, yeah. you should have played something with like a little bit more. Like, look, test out the graphics and everything. Devin played like Pong. Yeah, I was on play- the. Um, I like old games, you know. Devin turned it on. He goes, "I can't believe uh, Pac Man is is this uh, looks this great." He's yeah. an idiot. Yeah, I wasn't playing God of War Ragnarok <laughs> on it, which I should have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Devin's playing like the uh, game that's uh, the the pinball game. That's loaded up on like 2007 Windows computers. You know, yeah. the, the Space pen- Arcade. Yeah, Space Arcade. Devin's playing That's that. what I play on MetaPCS. But anyway, use code LEMON at MetaPCS.com and you can get one of these bad boys and you can start doing crazy stuff with it. Thank you, MetaPCS.com. Literally one of the big adult Fortnite streamers, the guy that had the pink beard and blue hair. Oh, the ninja guy or whatever. No, no, no. This guy. He went. He went. He went away for a while. (laughs) Fortnite streamer pedophile. Yeah, it's gonna pull up way too many results. (laughs) Your your computer starts smoking and the fans going crazy. This guy. Oh, I mean, which it kind of goes back to Devin's whole thing, where he's like, if I was a judge, I should be able to look at people. Why would you not sentence him with that? Why would you even go through a trial? I mean, why would you go through a trial for this man? That look, because he's got blue hair, a pink beard, but he still has pedophile glasses. Mm-hmm. Imagine making a jury wake up <laughs> to come judge whether he's guilty or not. Right. Throw him in a fucking volcano. Uh-huh. They would never be able to like get like a 
non-biased jury because you'd show the phone they'd be like oh yeah we're not gonna right whatever the facts are that guy's going to jail he's going to prison yeah what do you think miss johnson from crenshaw is gonna like really have some uh, open op- opinions about him yeah. that guy looks like pedophile neapolitan ice cream he's going to jail yeah yeah I- <laughs> he looks like <laughs> yeah <laughs> that guy looks like a rocket pop <laughs> in jail they'd be like dude you're too gay to rape Fuck you. He's like, yeah, what kind of Legos do you like to play with? He's like, well, I have a pink beard because little girls <laughs> like pink. Oh, God. Dude, he looks like he's an incel for being a pedophile. Like, he still can't get pussy if they're eight. <laughs> he still has no game. Yeah, yeah. The, the kid, he can't even make a kid come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the kid has to fake yeah. an orgasm. Yeah, the, kid's, the kid's yawning <laughs> midway kid's through like, getting molested. <laughs> shaking his head. Yeah, the kid's like, deeper. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to waste my time, at yeah. least fucking hit my back mm. wall. Just a 12-year-old, like, well, that was quick. <laughs> He's smoking a cigarette? Yeah, a candy cigarette. Yeah, candy cigarette. Well, thanks for wasting my time. <laughs> Putting back on his overalls and his, like, little red hat. Yeah. Like, He's got a frog in his front pocket <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd sleep over. <laughs> No, sorry, my mom's going to pick me up here in a bit. Yeah, sorry, I got to get gets in a, a big wheel, like Barbie car. <laughs> like, no, no, I'll totally text you. No, it's like... The little electric... The, the little electric car? Yeah, that goes like three miles. She's like, no, no, I'll totally... I'll hit you back. We're going to... No, this was not bad. Mm. We're going to hang again. And you just... <laughs> getting on the highway. Mm-hmm. Pulling out a little fake like Mattel cell phone and be like, girl, you would not believe the the short dick I just got. <laughs> just talking with a black accent. Dude, now. I do. It probably does suck. Pedophiles have no endurance mm-hmm. probably in the bedroom because they've it's like 35 years they've waited for this moment. Oh, they blow their load immediately. It's yeah. their wedding night every mm-hmm. time they fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're a pedophile, jack off before <laughs> so you don't get embarrassed. Word, word to the wise. Word to the wise, pedos. <laughs> Jack off before. You don't want to have one in the chamber. Right. And what brings us to our ad for bluechew.com. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a pedophile who can't fuck a kid, take blue chew. Mm. I wish we did have an ad this week. If I knew then what I know now, now that I'm older and wiser. Right. Let me teach you how to make a kid come. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's all about the anticipation. <laughs> I'm imagining the 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 forty thousand people are slowly like like I'm imagining them as TVs and they're all they're all unplugging them. All of our they're fan all base. unplugging them like one by one, like Christmas lights going out mm-hmm. when one pops and it goes like yeah, yeah. that. It's like an old news channel station <laughs> yeah. from the eighties. Yeah. Yeah. People are leaving; they're going home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the architect from the Matrix, and he's just switching every TV off. It's like, well, I don't need to hear. The make a kid come bit. He's like, well, there's no artistic anything to this, right? <laughs> this is just fat. This is smut. Right. It's just foul. And then he turns on chasing Amy. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I like, like Kevin Smith. Yeah. He goes out back. He cleans up his dead chickens from the East Palestine, Ohio uh, fucking explosion. <laughs> goes back inside and puts on Lemon Party. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, pretty dark outside. It's 1 p.m., but it's pretty dark outside. I'm going to stay. I'm, I'm going to stay. Yeah, well, I can't go outside because my eyes keep falling out <laughs> when I look at the sky. Yeah, I just saw Madonna pop up from the mud. <laughs> yeah, Madonna's the swamp beast created Madonna's, by the East Palestine. The East Palestine, Ohio Loch Ness Monster yeah. is Madonna. <laughs> Did you see that clip? She like had a round table where it's like Reggie Watts and like Amy Schumer and stuff. And no. she's like she's like talking about set. It's like filmed in black and white. She she looks like Fiona from Shrek. She, oh, that is it. She looks like Fiona from Shrek if she was really into Alan Iverson. <laughs> wait, wait, what am I typing in? Type in Madonna, Madonna. Amy Schumer maybe we'll pull it up. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lil Wayne. You are a fan. L- Lil Wayne is there. <laughs> Lil Wayne is there. So it's just a bunch of people that... that you that are uh, come to that show? I'll be there. they're suffering well, from it. Yeah, oh, yeah. This is like a, an there? actor's round okay, table so in hell. Is... Jesus Christ! No, I feel like I'm t- I'm hurtling mm-hmm. through the bowels of hell, Madonna... and this is flashing in yeah. front of me. If Madonna was in a horror movie, it would win like an Oscar yeah. for best special <laughs> effects. 
She, it's the guy who gave himself a heart attack making the thing, created Donna's Madonna's plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, these are this is the actors roundtable for for actors with radiation poisoning. <laughs> this is Hereditary too. <laughs> this is the new Ari Aster film. <laughs> I mean, look at her. Nice. Look at Madonna. She looks mm-hmm. like she looks satanic. No. Is yeah. This material girl is hitting the uh, road. It's I mean, one of these Madonna's oh, like, God, you know, I used I to be the that. biggest pop star in the world, and now I want to look like Chris Birdman Anderson. <laughs> That's my goal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my goal is to look like one of Jesse Pinkman's friends. <laughs> Can you give me the uh, I've been addicted to meth in Albuquerque look? She looks like absolute shit. I think that that, that might be it. I just want to make... She's like, I want to look like uh, I want to look like Michael Keaton at the end of Birdman, <laughs> <laughs> after he shot his nose. Right. What <laughs> if What if the Elephant Man was a wigger? Can I get that? <laughs> the Elephant Man. The Elephant Man. Oh, no, okay, the Elephant Man. Is Sam Smith there? Is he dressed like a kilbasa? Make sure you all know why you're here. <laughs> Did you see and this? He looks like such shit. Dude, he looks like a SpongeBob character. I love these people. They just ruin their lives. <laughs> they ruin their lives. They get one good album and then they ruin their they lives. They go insane. Yeah, this it's, one, that, yeah. it's the black one. Look at that. Dude, he looks like a gay anchor. <laughs> 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 he looks like you you throw him off a rainbow boat to like stay in place. <laughs> gay anchor. Dude, this is like a Rorschach test and if you fail it he fucks you in the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is That's what it is with the ink bots, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. He is he is a butterfly after the East Palestine train explosion. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what they look like. <laughs> yeah, he looks Dude, he's he looks a, like he's in gay Silent Hill. Yeah. How, by the way, how did he sit down at the award <laughs> ceremony? He probably you can't. Sit. He maybe deflates him. I know. Oh, he deflates his. Maybe he deflates his legs. He deflates his pants. He deflates the pants. I don't know. I don't know yeah. why. I mean, if that he, guy sat next to me, he hits like a bus brake and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> he sinks down. They're like Sam Smith. Who's your fashion designer? He goes. Oh, uh, Nathan Fielder, right. this new guy. Can you imagine them just, good? them just sitting them, <laughs> him next to, like, Migos or something? Ben, go to the, the, the Madonna thing that, that, that Jace brought up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're losing track of oh, our yeah, retards yeah, yeah. here. Jerome, is that Jack Black? Black? Jack Black. This is tough. Amy's- By the way, do you know, you told me this yesterday. He's mm-hmm. Jewish. Jack Black is Jewish. Yeah. Oh. His mom is Jewish, and she was one of the ladies from Hidden Figures. She did, like, the math for the rocket that went to the moon. Hmm. Jack so Black's they, mom was a black lady. Was, yeah, that's how, he, that's how he got the name. <laughs> we gonna go to the moon, baby. Were you telling me Jack Black is, was Jewish? I was For a moment, I was like, so they do kind of run everything. Yeah, like, like, that just pushed me over the edge. Even, like, I was hanging on the edge of anti-Semitism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Pick of Destiny was about him meeting his dad. <laughs> I was on the cliff of the Jewish question, of the right. JQ. And mm-hmm. I've, you're like, you know Jack Black? I'm just falling. <laughs> right. I'm like... Free right <laughs> into, into just deep, being radicalized, deep anti-Semitic, <laughs> and then I'm I'm yelling after you. Paul Rudd is Jewish too. <laughs> I'm like, but he's so good looking. He, yep, full <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> yeah, Ben just falling to a big pit marked Q and on. I love that Ben just called the Jewish question JQ. <laughs> That's what they call it, the JQ. Oh, really? Yeah, the yeah. JQ. The yeah, JQ. You're, you're Ben's just down there with Deshaun Watson and fucking. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who runs like the Black Muslims. Mm. God, what's that uh, guy's name? Um, the, the guy black who had Malcolm X killed. Oh, Louis Farrakhan. Louis, Louis Farrakhan? Farrakhan. Yeah. Yeah, he did have Malcolm X. Killed. That's your version of this roundtable. Has been interviewing Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> And, Desh- and Deshaun Watson. So yeah. That's- Eric Andre, Judd Apatow, uh, just some woman that I'm sure they, they gave like a camera to. Eric's awesome, by the way. Have you talked to him? He's fucking great. I like Eric yeah, he's, Andre. He's cool as shit. No, he's, he seems like he was dragged into this. Who's this other guy right here next to the lady? I don't know. I don't this, know. this is Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> that's <laughs> Schumer. Oh. Truth or dare? Dare, bitch. Ooh. Wow, starting off with a dare. I want I mean, you to show me with this spread. Madonna how you is terrifying. Like- she looks like she's being held captive by <laughs> Die Antwerd. She looks like she's in a cage and Die Antwerd like feeds her bugs like through their tongue. <laughs> like they stick their tongue out and there's just a bunch of like red ants on mm-hmm. it. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's in District 9 right now. This is insane. She looks like she's in District 9. She looks like a fucking prune, man. She looks like utter shit. How do you look worse than Riff Raff? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy. It's insane. I feel like the cinematographer white balances camera just by zooming in on her face. <laughs> That's why they put it in black and white. <laughs> Like there's no, you can tell there's no color. There's no, they, no, they made it black no and white because they were like, no one, this, people will be terrified of this. Yeah. Her skin's gray now. The blood doesn't reach the surface. Her body is like the Earth's crust. She probably looks similar to these people. Do so much to their body that when they die and they're laying mm -hmm. on a on a big steel sheet in a morgue they look the same yeah they probably don't even decay at oh, a certain point if you if you bury madonna it would kill all the grass above <laughs> her because of microplastics yeah trees in the cemetery would just wilt and die like a robot would grow out of the ground yeah, yeah. you feel like the cemetery would ice over <laughs> they're gonna use her as a bit as evidence in a big lawsuit against roundup <laughs> yeah she does. Like, she does look like a Bug's Life a little bit. She, she's 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 a Pixar character. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is terrifying looking. She's Jonathan a terrifying woman. asshole. <laughs> oh wait, go, go back a little bit because this question's so cringy. Oh, okay, what's the question? Just, Will you eat these bugs? Madonna looks like the bug. <laughs> and Amy that, goes, "I will, bitch." Madonna looks like the bug that Amy Schumer will eat in the future. <laughs> yeah, she she looks like Amy Schumer's soul. Her off. This is tough. Amy Schumer. Oh, truth or dare? Dare, bitch. Wow. Well, wait, yeah, because you can't tell the truth. <laughs> You're Amy Schumer. Yeah. We dare, get it. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. like, dare. I dare you to love another human being. <laughs> truth. Do you steal all your jokes? Well, no, well let's do a dare. Right. I truth. dare you to tell me if you stole all your jokes. <laughs> I yeah. dare you. <laughs> truth. Did you marry an autistic man because you can treat him like a slave? <laughs> Did you marry an autistic chef because you're a sociopath? Yeah. Did, did you marry an autistic frying pan? <laughs> Truth or dare? Did you marry a robot that cooks food? Did you marry an air fryer? <laughs> <laughs> all right, dare. I dare you to talk about all the times you admitted to rape in speeches in 2015. <laughs> yeah. If you uh, haven't, by the way, go Google Amy Schumer's like admitted to rape like three yeah, times yep. in speeches. Yeah. She stole in Patrice's jokes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There. I want you to show me with this bread how you what make your ears? husband what? And she said bread, but it looks it like It looks worms. like human ears. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> I mean, butthole. I think we're done. Actually. Little Wayne has no clue where he is. Yeah. Oh my God, what's happening? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He does have a gay ping butthole. I don't think he'd mind me. Little today. Wayne. Okay. He just he he stops the whole conversation. He's like, y'all see Inception? He's like, that shit was crazy. Yeah. Because when it was wobbling, it like a dream within a dream within a dream. Yeah. Motherfucker. Little, little Wayne's putting a big top on the table. <laughs> he goes. He goes. When the top stops spinning, you don't know if you're in a dream or not. <laughs> you ever take a bath and feel like you're Leo, like you're falling back in that shit? <laughs> We He's like, all... I want to do that shit with the van. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't even get me started on Tenet. <laughs> you call it Tenet. <laughs> You're telling me time can go back one? It's a, Tenet is about a, a person that lives in an apartment complex. <laughs> he going like this, back. He moving back. He talking backward. Uh, he's on some Twin Peaks Red Room shit. He like that little motherfucker speaking backwards and shit. Yeah. Sometimes I drink so much lean it feels like I'm a tenant. <laughs> you know, the other day I thought it was Inception because I woke up on a beach, but it's just because I OD'd on a boat. <laughs> Christopher Nolan should make a movie about Cesar. Yeah. Six foot, seven but, foot, eight, eight foot. But, but. Lil Wayne, you're disassociated. You're Lil Wayne, in, Lil Wayne, you're in hell talking to Madonna. <laughs> Lil Wayne, you're you're actively having a seizure right now. This does seem like God designed black hell. Is you go talk to Madonna and Amy Schumer mm. in a black and white room, and Lil Wayne's laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she doesn't eat the bread. Is it is it a thing where she like doesn't do carbs or no, something? Ma Madonna said, "Show me how you eat your husband's asshole with this." Circle bread. I couldn't even follow that. Yeah, oh, I didn't even I, catch yeah, that. I that's what that at all. Yeah, and that's the way Amy Schumer goes. Nope. And then she goes, "My husband does have a gaping asshole, though, so he wouldn't mind." 
Yeah. And then Madonna left, and she has like a full front and top grill. Yeah. So Jeez. she's becoming bicentennial man. She's like Robin <laughs> Williams. <laughs> Dude, she does belong in like a RoboCop movie. Yeah, she looks like the Tin Man. <laughs> she looks like she needs oil. <laughs> She's Megan. <laughs> she looks like she drinks WD-40. Right. She looks like that scene in RoboCop, like you could take her whole body apart into like pieces and just show her beating heart. And like one hand is the only thing that's left. Somehow Amy Schumer's still the most unhealthy person at this round table. <laughs> yeah, somehow. <laughs> With Lil Wayne and Madonna. With Lil Wayne and Madonna. <laughs> mm. You can hear Amy Schumer's heart beating. Sounds like an earthquake. Uh, who are these other people? This is fascinating. Keep this on. Ben. Oh, you want you want to watch some more? I want yeah. one more. I second. can't even follow it. I, I don't know what they're saying. They're speaking like in tongues. To me, something. this is like the Looking Glass. They're speaking it's like in, Alice in Wonderland. They're speaking in pedophile tongues. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's conversations like this that made Mel Gibson go insane. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like, I'm around sinners and Jews. This is the reason Mel Gibson just walks around town calling Jews sugar tits all day. Okay, now, Eric, it's your turn. This is kind of, like, sad and gross. Oh my God. Sad and gross is very popular. <laughs> he, like, he means that. He hates it. He hates this. Yeah, yeah, hey, Fuck Eric, Andre. What's great about him is they all laugh at him, like, oh, Eric's just being a comedian. He's like, right. no, I hate this. Yeah. <laughs> because he's a prankster. He right. likes, he's leaving. Yeah, yeah. He's leaving early. He loves the prank. Uh, no, Eric's classic, a professional Josher. Right. Classic prank by Eric. He's going and screaming at his manager for booking this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's a professional Josher. He's a professional Josher. Yeah. He Joshes. <laughs> right now. West, also known as Diplo. Ah, come on. Truth or dare? Who is that? You said dare. Oh, oh is that my Kate? first thought you was dip your balls in the margarita and, and finish the rest of it. You're so highbrow. I do it. You don't no, have to show your dick. Happening. Yes, you do. <laughs> you can't go over there and hide it. Well, you gotta show Madonna. Yes. yes. Who asked for this though? Like I'm not trying to be like the guy that like who is, but like who no, what is like literally what is it? You know what? I don't even think this is some like Academy <clears throat> Award bullshit. I think Madonna is this is has the tour celebration. Yeah. Oh, you know so what? She, I oh, I know what this is. She does stand up now. She does half stand up, half I forgot she's a stand up comedian. Mm -hmm. She's she's announcing her tour and she's trying to show people she's a comedian. Yeah, she's being did. funny with other comedians. She did stand this is her, up on like, Fallon. Yeah. She like watches she probably watches like Paul Provenza's Green room and she wants to do something like that it is unbelievable how no matter what stand-up gets everybody yeah. gets everyone you could be madonna and you end up being the biggest loser yeah. on earth you could be the like the president of america and get sucked <laughs> into being like well you know i was at the comedy store the other day the last bastion of somebody with nothing left <laughs> is stand-up comedy remember and madonna's doing it now remember the guy who like uh created that 70s show like one of the co-creators was always at open mics with us, and he was worth like eighty million dollars. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. He was still just trying to go up, like mm -hmm. in his sixties, like mm -hmm. trying out. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's like, I'm, he's like, I'm trying to open for Red Band. <laughs> <laughs> she did, she did stand up on Jimmy Kimmel mm -hmm. on uh, what's this show? Madonna makes her on the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. It says here. Yeah, mm. I bet it's not bad. I, I bet it's pretty good. <laughs> I bet it's actually. I bet it's, I bet it's not bad. Right. I bet it's not yeah. bad. What if she went up and it was like the greatest stand-up you've ever seen? It was like 1995 Chris Rock. I mean, now the the bar is literally. It's like you. It's it's in a pit. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. buried in a hole. No, now you stand on the bar <laughs> and drive it further into hell, <laughs> and you push it down. People. People now think you're supposed to be like above the bar. Like the mm -hmm. world is upside down. People mm -hmm. are walking on the ceiling. No one knows what's going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people think the Earth's crust is the floor. Because that's how far mm. below, below the bar is. No, every conversation you have with these people, they're like, you know, North means is actually South. <laughs> south yeah. is North. Yeah. East is West. And right. West is East. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get it right. And men are pregnant. <laughs> the fuck's going on? Yeah. No, it truly is like every... Uh, directions are ableist. Right. Don't tell him where to go. <laughs> it's Taylor Lorenz. Every, every, everybody delete your Google Maps. It's ableist. You ableist. Yeah. Wait, ways is ableist. Yeah. Oh, sorry, doing South Park voice. That one... Or whatever. I don't even know. Anymore. Yeah. I actually... We should... We live in the ocean now. Yeah. <laughs> and and land is, is where fish are. Yeah. <laughs> 
everything's fucking topsy. Yeah. It really, I mean, like <laughs> the most famous artists of all time are trying to be funny, and comedians are trying to talk about like comedians are trying to mm. be artists. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. trying no, to talk comedians about comedians like, are trying to be politicians, be politicians, mm-hmm. and and be cool, and yeah. rock stars, and all and the make serious to philosophical like points. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is always like I tune into a, a comedy podcast to watch a narcissist talk about global politics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let me get a millionaire narcissist with no education, right. our, our sense of morality, to break down to Chinese American mm. diplomatic but, solutions. But give me a bruh here and there. Yeah, give me a bruh. Relate to the layman with a bruh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just sprinkle in a bruh. Come on, throw me a bruh. <laughs> throw me a bone. Throw me a bruh. Throw me a bruh. <laughs> throw me a bruh. Throw me a bruh. Throw me a bruh while you dissect life. <laughs> Dude, I'm still laughing at the <clears throat> elephant mane. Mane, yeah. Elephant mane? Yeah. I'm not an animal she. <laughs> I'm a fucking human. I'm not a fucking animal she. she. I'm going to take a big nap with my head down on the pillow. So, wait, wait. Are they trying to kill him because he is like, uh, he's doing Ave too much? I think. Because he's a wigger, right? I think it's just the first black guy in England and they think he's like a mutant or something. Oh, shit. I was. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's it's Anthony Hopkins just showing like a black guy from mm-hmm. Atlanta to like a bunch of Victorian doctors. Mm-hmm. It's like you'll notice the the jawline as a pencil line <laughs> beard, yeah, and they're yeah. like fascinating, fascinating. <laughs> He's like, she stops looking at me and shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a it's a guy who looks like LeBron James. Yeah, it's, it's Gucci man. It's yeah. a handsome black gentleman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. Just a guy who works for FedEx. <laughs> He's like, man, I got to deliver these packages. Mm. <laughs> like, you notice the musculature of the upper forearm, if you see here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, a uh, divine yeah. creature of God's freak will. <laughs> they throw balls through nets. <laughs> Yeah, you know it's f- funny. Apes do religious. Uh, whoa, whoa, what? what a segue! Whoa, 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 but you were hold on. What did I say? You said he, said, he was talking about the NBA. No, yeah. but he's talking about it like like an, an an old racist academic would talk about black people. Okay. Right. Well, what were you about to say though? Yeah, yeah maybe you're change. Cha- if you're fully changing <laughs> topics, then you're safe. Apes. You have- better have gone to the zoo recently. <laughs> This yeah. better yeah. be a yeah. Zeus. This better be a segue into your day at the zoo. Right. Because sometimes we're like navigating like a laser field, like we're trying to rob a bank, and then Ben just like Ben, we're just, like, <laughs> ben throws his entire body through the lasers and lands on his head with like his neck sideways. <laughs> My spine snaps. Yeah, snaps. I'm just <laughs> being burned by all the lasers. <laughs> yeah, alarms going off. <laughs> yeah. After after we just did like Catherine Zeta Jones moves for like 15 minutes, Ben's like, apes. <laughs> I'm just getting <laughs> burned mm-hmm. alive. Yeah, yeah. All the lasers focus on you and just set you on fire. <laughs> yeah. They were like release Rottweilers just chewing you to pieces. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, well, what what were you going to say? Apes have been studied uh, uh, doing like religious practices and... Mm-hmm. In the jungle, you mean molesting younger apes? <laughs> <laughs> like we figured out, apes are Catholic. <laughs> there's a little, there's a gorilla with a with a collar just raping every child gorilla. Father um. Harambe. <laughs> they bury their dead and molest their children. Mm-hmm. They're like, we're actually transferring this gorilla to a different zoo because of some issues with the congregation. Oh god. Oh uh, fuck. Hold on, but I was what I was saying is um, <laughs> they've been seen like doing um, things that don't benefit their survival in any way, mm. which means they they are are doing some sort of religious thing that they they, they think th- they do this thing where they like dance around a tree and they take rocks and they put it up in the tree and they have to stack a certain number of rocks up there, mm. which has no benefit to their survival whatsoever, meaning that. There's a part of their brain that is evolving consciously 
to believe in like an afterlife or a god or whether or not they think if they do that, then it will rain or something right. like that. They're uh, becoming superstitious or they think religious or whatever. There's powers behind mm. the universe. Which, yeah. Yeah. That's, did they ever do that before? Like That's like a next level of, of that means they're human also, style thinking. Right? I think that's a thing that bothers some people. Like it's, it's almost like an uncanny valley thing where it bothers people to see an animal do a do something that's like a right. human kind of behavior. Yeah, mm. apes have started a stand-up comedy scene, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you can see you go, oh, maybe it does this, where you evolve to a certain point as a species that you can develop like mm-hmm. a civilization, like a, a, a better world. And then you start to devolve rapidly and you plummet. Right. And it all because of like pleasure centers and obeying those things and just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you go, I wonder if it's just this. Right. For like, and then another species every, comes along and. Every species like goes like this and then they get TikTok and then they just are dead. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Within 90 years. The, at, like Atlantis mm-hmm. was probably guys walking around with, there was like sneaker mm-hmm. heads. Yeah. They were walking around Atlantis like smoking cloves. Saying bruh, yeah. having podcasts. Guys in Atlanta smoking dabs mm-hmm. and just being straight retarded. Just some guy in a Wahlburgers in Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if they discovered Atlantis and it's just like Wahlburgers right. and like Foot Lockers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a shoe palace. Mm-hmm. It's just a bunch of uh, sweatpants with like the cast of Friends on them. <laughs> no, they're going to discover Atlantis. It's going to look like the promenade. Yeah, mm-hmm. Atlantis is just a big Scarface poster. In the home theater, yeah, the they're rapper. Like, we found a theater, and the last movie playing was Boondock Saints, <laughs> and then the whole thing sank into the ocean. <laughs> but you are right, because we always imagine like, well, there was some cataclysmic event, but it's like, what if they just became too retarded to like fuck anymore? Yeah, and just it, died out. That's what it kind of seems like. Yeah, how do we not know? Th- like Atlantis, like didn't become some idiocracy type of event mm-hmm. where people were going, no, we're supposed to live under the water. Flood, flood the island, flood it, and they just ba- they killed themselves, mm-hmm. right? Right. By saying like they needed to d- do it for gender or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if we kept living, would we end up seeing apes evolve? Like if we kept, like, hmm. does this round of apes ever evolve? Because I know we came from apes, but what about all the apes that stayed apes? Right. If we lived hundreds of thousands of years, like we just were immortal, would we eventually start seeing apes at the zoo, like fucking just like putting on suits and right. start like starting to become people? Smoking cigarettes? Yeah. Like would they start talk? Like would you start seeing them like start verbalizing words and mm-hmm. shit? They can, well, they already have their own languages and stuff, obviously. Yeah. But even, you know what's interesting? Uh, I just learned this dolphins can commit suicide. Really? Yeah, they're the only other species besides human beings that commit How suicide. How so? Is it like with a gun? Yeah, they make best friends with a Japanese man. <laughs> Actually, how do the how does, how does it, a dolphin kill yeah, itself? It's a dolphin suicide just swimming to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder, do they just swim into a rock really quick? Mm. Dolphins have the physical ability to commit suicide by voluntarily holding their breaths until they die. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so sad. <laughs> I wish I didn't know that. Damn. Meet Peter, the dolphin that committed suicide. And they do that at, like, SeaWorld and shit. Yeah, they just hold their They're breath. They're just holding their die. breath. Yeah, because that's, that's dolphin prison, really. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's dol- oh, dol- dolphin Rikers is SeaWorld. <laughs> It's yeah, they're all playing cards for cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> underwater. <laughs> There's one dolphin tattooing another dolphin with just a pen. <laughs> yeah, molesting the one pedophile dolphin. Yeah, they all kill the pedophile. <laughs> yeah, they're like, dolphin. yeah, you're at SeaWorld, and they're like, so this next dolphin is all the other dolphins, bitch. <laughs> so what they do is they turn his ass out for chocolates and candy. <laughs> That's one of the saddest things I've ever read. Yeah. They always hold their breath. They hold their breath until they die. Yeah. It, I mean, it That's is funny. so sad. To imagine They're a, so smart. A dolphin doing those squeaky noises, but if you could translate it, he's just like, oh, I've had enough. Yeah. This is the end. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I await to nuzzle the cheek of death in my descent. <laughs> right. But they just go. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's so cute. It's just like, kill me. Kill me, God. <laughs> it's just going. <laughs> You're like, why does that dolphin have cut marks down its uh, flippers? <laughs> oh, God.
That's so sad. Yeah, why is that? Why is that dolphin so taking the razor sad. blade out of a out of a fucking shaving kit? Oh, it's so it's so sad what we're doing to the earth. I'm, the dolphins are killing themselves. I'm, I also imagine a dolphin like you know they jump through the hoops, but it's just the dolphin has a noose hanging from the ceiling, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it ju- it jumps into the noose and hangs itself. That, this all being said, I'll still go to SeaWorld. Oh, yeah, 100%. Hold on, maybe it's Because they're already there. I'll throw a hot dog at them right in their face. <laughs> I'll hit them with a rock with a slingshot. I'll throw them some Prozac. <laughs> I can keep dancing. Oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> Peter the bottlenose dolphin, who is said to have killed himself after being separated from the woman he loved. Wow. In 1965. He's an incel dolphin. Wow. He didn't get no pussy, and he, mm-hmm. he took his own line. Peter the bottlenose dolphin. Wow. Well, I do know there was that dolphin in that like CIA experiment that lived in. They put it in a house with a lady, mm-hmm. and they like flooded the house with water, and they were trying to see if they could get dolphins <clears throat> to like learn English, because they wanted dolphins to be like spies or something. Like if they could teach them to like, work that, for yeah. the government. And there was like this lady scientist that had to work with teach it. the dolphin to go on Joe Rogan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talk about Russia. <laughs> Dolphin's like Vladimir Putin. He's great. Joe's Dolphin's, like that's interesting, man. That's interesting. Yeah, he's Joe's underwater. Like, yeah, he's just like Joe. Have you ever, um, Joe? Have you ever like eaten like a fish that's just thrown into your mouth hole? He's like, I heard that's great for uh, you know vitamin D, man. I stopped eating sardines, man, because of the mercury levels. <laughs> and dolphin just kills itself. Yeah. A dolphin doing fight companion. He goes so <laughs> yeah, in an argument with Eddie Bravo. Yeah. <laughs> It is funny. It, like, so you're like a dolphin man. So like, are your mercury levels really high? Yeah. Because you're literally a fish. Brendan Schaub's like, you know, I was also a dolphin for a period of time. <laughs> the dolphin killing Brendan Schaub yeah, by all, swimming into him. Yeah, like how they kill sharks. <laughs> they're all hitting him in his eight ball jacket. He's just trying to fight the dolphin. Yeah, his Br- big jacket is ripping. Yeah, British shop sinking underwater because his giant jacket and shoes are filling with water. His huge sneakers. His sneakers are like uh, when people tie cinder blocks to their feet yeah. to kill themselves yeah. in the ocean. His He's shoes are sinking. what mobsters use to kill gangsters. Yeah. All he has to do is untie his sneakers and swim to the surface, mm-hmm. but he refuses to do it. <laughs> because he'll be called gay. Right? Yeah, he'll be called gay. If you see, if you see uh, that guy's feet. Mm-hmm. His it's feet, g- he has gay. cauliflower feet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lady dolphin killed herself, too. Oh, wait, I was, but I was going to say... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the CIA experiment, they had this lady scientist trying to train it, and the dolphin eventually wouldn't do any work unless the lady scientist jerked it off to completion oh, before every experiment that uh, they did. It needed a clear mind. <laughs> clear dolphin Needed mind. to like, clear the mechanism. Nice. Yeah. Did you ever see The Cove, Ben? Uh no, Cove's crazy, amazing documentary where it shows all the Jap. There's like this village in Japan somewhere, and the whole town is like dolphin themed. Like they sell dolphin uh, toys and mm-hmm. everything's like dolphin, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then every Sunday, a grisly murder, ha- <laughs> like a massacre yeah. happens, and all these Japanese guys just spear these dolphins to death in this cove. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! And then all these animal activists went out there and like spent months on end, and they set up cameras and they caught it all in footage, and then they went to like the world, uh, whatever. Uh, animal give a shit for them <laughs> and they like, w- they wore mm-hmm. the footage on their chests and yeah and they I guess helped or something but right. yeah like they, they sell dolphin they, they would massacre them more humane than like having a sea world though more humane that is still it's more humane kill it and eat it I mm-hmm. would go to sea world if I watched like 30 Japanese men just stab dolphins to death with spears because like, I'd be like this is bad I mean this yeah. is awful but I mean, if you're gonna do it if you're already going to do it. Right. The splash zone is just because of the blood. <laughs> yeah, that's spray. really my philosophy is like it's already being done. <laughs> It'd be great if there was like an arena in SeaWorld. And like if I hope Asia does take over America because mm-hmm. if Japan, if, if, well, Japan's our ally. But regardless, who cares? They're all Asian. <laughs> it's Asian people. Sure. Any, anyway, let's say Bo and Yang buys SeaWorld one day. <laughs> And lets Jap even though he's not Japanese, he mm-hmm. lets Japanese people run SeaWorld. Sure. Here's what would happen. Okay. I imagine. 
it would be a big arena. You know the big arena where Free Willy is? Mm -hmm. Or not Free Willy. I sound like a retard. Right. Or the orc whale. The killer yeah, yeah. whale. Yeah. Shamu. Shamu. Where he yeah. does tricks and stuff. Shamu, yeah. Yeah, he yeah, jumps where up. Where he kills his trainer every five months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shamu is he the- He kills a guy making $11 an yeah. hour. Yeah. Every five months, Shamu just stabs a guy to death. <laughs> <laughs> just a guy with no health insurance. <laughs> Gets, yeah. gets eaten by a whale. A 23-year-old in a wetsuit with no experience. Just has a, a whole whale fall on top of him and dies. <laughs> they always say the, the animals are treated so badly at SeaWorld. I bet the employees are treated way worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, way by worse. By far. I want to see their benefits. By far. Yeah. Do they even have a 401k? I doubt it. No, I, I highly doubt it. I doubt it. They love wet. They love sea animals. What a freak. <laughs> Who gives a shit what they get? <laughs> they should keep They're them in free. cages. Yeah. They work You're there for free. free. You should work there for free. Right. Yeah. They all live in the penguin exhibit. They're all just waddling around. <laughs> I was gonna say the show should start in the, the Japanese Sea World arena where it's just Japanese guys on sea dews and they're oh. running around. Oh, it's like the Waterworld ride. Yes, oh, show nice. at, at Universal Studios. Yeah, it's a big show where everybody's every every four hundred pound person is just cheering in their seat and their four hundred pound kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they're all just clapping. A as bunch the show of people starts. in the crowd that never eat fish. <laughs> God forbid they yeah. ever had fish. It's, it's people who didn't know fish existed non-fried. <laughs> they're like, wait, so they so they when they're alive, they're not fried. <laughs> uh, a guy trying to dip a salmon in honey mustard and just biting into it. Yeah, if you showed him a lox bagel, he'd he'd freak out. Yeah, yeah. He'd blow his he has, mind. He has no idea. He's like, what are these pussy lips doing on my bagel? So keep bad Japanese guys on sea dews and they're <laughs> driving around in circles and the fish like the dolphins they're all fucking terrified and they're just running from them yeah and they're screaming like and they just have AK forty sevens and they're fire they're like terrorists there's one Japanese guy on the yeah, shoulders yeah, yeah. of another Japanese they're guy like Somalian the pirates yeah it's like a militia raiding mm -hmm. a village in Africa or something. yeah <laughs> have you seen Back to the Future when they're in the parking lot with the yeah with sure the, the terrorists they're doing that yeah it's a Jap terrorist in a movie in America in the 80s yeah like how they act like that to america yeah, yeah, yeah. like mm. shooting in the sky mm. they're doing yeah. that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people that pay for vip uh seats they get a gun too and they're they get to fire I into love this. the and if you kill one of the animals you get to bring it home with you like mm -hmm. a, it's a stuffed uh mm -hmm. yeah we give you bear. we give you its skull and spine like predator you just get to carry it around the park <laughs> I would love that, that would be awesome. I would love that if it was exactly like Waterworld, like a ski a sea dude's going like thirty feet in the air and there's an explosion and a Japanese guy just jumps off with a bayonet. <laughs> like just three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is a sputter and then just stabs a dolphin in the brain. That would I would honestly watch that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because I am kind of like you, Devin. It's like, well, it's it's going to continue to happen. So, like, why not just get the experience? That's in my the brain? thing, you know. Yeah. Like, what, like vegans and stuff. The people that don't eat meat. I'm like, mm -hmm. there's, it, we're killing it regardless. And there's a lot of mm -hmm. meat at the store that goes bad. Goes so, bad, if you yeah. really care about the animal and you're like, it, uh, you're not using its body, you should. It eat died it. for no mm -hmm. reason. You should just still eat it because you're not changing you, anything. We're going to keep factory right. farming. You should go to the supermarket and buy everything. They you should have. buy the manager <laughs> specials and eat all mm -hmm. the meat that goes bad. Because do, don't you care about the animal? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's dying for no reason mm -hmm. all the meat's going bad and yep. you're just sitting at home refusing right fucking asshole <laughs> <laughs> all these also the people that say like they 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 want their animal like the free range and shit i'm like no i want to i want the animal i'm eating to have been in a living hell <laughs> i want it to have been tortured i want it because i want right. to know i'm taking it out of its misery by killing mm -hmm. it why would i want to know the chicken i'm eating had like a was that like fucking disneyland when i when it got yeah. killed they're like don't worry this chicken had a loving family <laughs> Kids that it spent all its time with, and then we just cut its head. It off. had hopes and dreams. <laughs> I want every animal I ate to have been to be living in its own shit. This what? chicken was getting its GED. It was going back to college. Yeah, this, this, it was getting its life together. Yeah, it was. Go it got sober. <laughs> it's going to night school. It was going to NA. <laughs> And it, it wasn't easy. Yeah, this chicken was he getting, did it. it was getting all of its racist tattoos removed from back when it did speed. And everybody told him he couldn't do it. Yeah, this chicken. And he was, showed him the chicken was working at Homeboy Industries. <laughs> it's a tragedy. Yeah, he was he was in therapy, unworking trauma from his youth, his abusive dad, chicken. In his spare time, he was a social worker for other chickens. Yeah, he actually coached a basketball team of chickens, mm -hmm. and then. 
And then luckily we took it out back and just sh- put a bullet <laughs> in its brain. Well, that's, so you don't like halal because halal, what they do is they on the I love halal. like a, a guy who's like Muslim. He just whispers like some uh, Muslim prayer into the goat's ear. Oh, and then, right. Like, the goat just like he just well, gets isn't that soft, all their religious and then, then they cut its throat. Oh, do but they? They thank it for its uh, sacrifice. Oh. Mm-hmm. and they make the goat really calm, and then they uh, slit its throat. And they do that with all their animals where they like they right. basically like you know they wine and dine them. Yeah. Right. That's what halal is. Basically. That's what they, th- they think journalists are goats. Mm-hmm. That's why they're cutting their heads off. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> they kill, they have to, every animal they kill, it has to be like filmed in a live leak video for some reason. <laughs> Just putting, they're like, uh, you go to a halal farm and they mm-hmm. put, a, there's a goat in a cage that they're setting on yeah. fire. They're making, yeah, they're making a goat read a newspaper. <laughs> Newspaper with today's headline on it. So halal is that a? They're strapping a bomb to a goat, <laughs> like a bomb vest. Is, is that a Muslim thing? Like, is it religious based to like whisper into yeah, their yeah, ear and then kill them? Well, I think it's, it's based on the the Quran. Well, I think it's like the same thing. It's just like the Bible for, for right, over yeah. there. And then what's the kosher shit? Where Fucking retards. When Jews eat kosher food, that means like a Jewish wizard just like stood over the food and was like. <laughs> So that they, I'm actually they, confused by. What they do is they hang a pig up and then they cut its uh, foreskin off and then the rabbi sucks its little dick. Yeah, yeah. They just complain yeah. until the animal kills itself. <laughs> <laughs> That's kosher. That's kosher, baby. Yeah. We may raise the rent on the pig until it blows its head off. <laughs> the- they ban animals from all the banks in the world, and then they just kill themselves. They go, oh, it's kosher. It's nice. They raise the rent on the animal. <laughs> oh, oh, baby, yeah. we're doing it today. Hell yeah. yeah, baby. Super Bowl. Super Bowl, baby. Hey, you could be racist uh, on the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl. Uh, yeah. Do the gayest dance of all time. <laughs> we got so much food coming, boys. I'm so yeah. excited. First Super Bowl, two black quarterbacks, too. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm going to get out of here. Rush Limbaugh's worst fucking nightmare <laughs> today. Rush Limbaugh, they have this on every TV in hell for Rush Limbaugh tonight. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I know I'm racist. I didn't know. I've never known a black quarterback. What? Besides that Vince guy on the in the University of Tech. Yeah, yeah, Vince Young. You knew Michael Vick. He was in the news. Oh, I thought he was like a running back. Or <laughs> I swear to God, I had no idea. I thought they all like ran and... Yeah, I didn't yeah. think they like use their brain. Right, <laughs> you are that is that is a weird. It's a weird racial blind spot I have. Well, it's a, it's a weird old school race. Like you're yeah, mad yeah. at Warren Moon. <laughs> <laughs> you're mad at the first black quarterback from 1979. Yeah, yeah. I'm the guy in the n- movie from the 1940s, like mm-hmm. wearing the leather football helmet. Yeah. yeah, I'm like you can't let him on the field. Yeah, <laughs> you're, yeah. like the old shitty leather helmet that does nothing. Yeah, leather. You're, Head? You're yeah. dressed like Bear Bryant. You got the hat, and you're like, "Well, they can't. They can't memorize the playbook." Ben has some weird hatred towards Cordell Stewart or some quarterback that hasn't played in 20 years. Mm. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Ben's mad at Ben. Never ate soup because of Donovan McNabb. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, I fuck Campbell's. Fuck Campbell's. <laughs> oh, did I, want, Campbell's I want thin soup. <laughs> it's all this chunky shit. Chunky because of their big black hips. <laughs> I don't drink Coca Cola because of Mean Joe Green. <laughs> yep. I can't drink Gatorade. I can only I only can drink water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't, I can't even drink milk anymore. I'm like Michael Jordan did the Got Milk commercials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you watch the Super Bowl and you see fucking just anybody drinking water and you're like, fuck. Now I have to die. You just die. <laughs> yeah. You see, Ben sees Travis Kelsey. Can't he goes, drink milk anymore. Ben sees Travis Kelsey. He's like, well, I don't know. He kind of, the facial hair is throwing me off. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, uh, I think we have to go here. Yeah, in Jiffy. We got to get a Patreon up in before Head over the, to the page before the big game starts. We always record two, by the way, because people ask me this because they live so far away from me. Mm-hmm. For the meantime, but I am moving in a month. Right, still in L.A. I, I live in Riverside, so yeah, this is a real hike for me. You live pretty far away, actually. Yeah, I live in Alhambra. Yeah, I we dr- both live on the opposite side of town from where we record. I drove to see Jace yesterday. Mm-hmm. I drove to. I guess we can just go into the Patreon now, right? Yeah, sure. We can. Can I piss real quick? Yeah, I got to pee yeah. too. 
Okay, I'll tell the story. <laughs> I'll tell the story to nobody, I guess. Anyway, guys, patreon.com slash lemon party, Devin the Hate Watch Pod. Yes. I'm guessing this is a regular, probably. Yeah, yeah, I think so. YouTube.com slash uh, hate watch pod. Patreon.com slash lemon party. We do audio and video up there. Again, keep the comments coming. Loving the comments about uh, how we're all the worst people you've ever ran into. Keep that up. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. All that stuff helps. Please send it to your friends. And please keep us spreading the word. Thanks, guys. Thank you.